All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode two. In the last episode, we were introduced to kind of two separate groups or two separate storylines going on. Uh, the main group was a group of two kids, one being Kiriko, one being Maru, I believe. Kiriko was tasked to guard and transport Maru to, to some kind of place. Maru seems to be gifted in a sense is in fighting one would say um a lot like the other kids uh from the other side of the story which is this kind of promised neverland vibe um facility that they somehow for some reason live in in this post-apocalyptic world um they are well we've only seen from maybe two of them but they seem to be gifted in some kind of way maybe each individual kind um there was also actually there was also an artist one as well i don't know um, but yeah, post-apocalyptic world, uh, mutant animal crazy things, which we saw at the end of the last episode. Very interesting. I love a good mystery. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to this. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, bro, what the fuck is that? You got mold on your arm or something. Oh yeah, you're just gonna watch them like that? <laughs> Kids. Growing up. Yeah? She got hops? What the fuck? Spider kid? How are you sticking to that tree? Yeah, you just launched your friend. <laughs> Why does the hair look like ears? Which one was Mimihime? Is it... One of the students, or is it someone else? Yeah? Taking naked pictures of people? What the fuck is that? Is that a separate thing to the other one? Oh shit, it's gone. Wait, I thought they were like drugged or something. That's what the, the assumption I was getting from last episode. Ah, yeah, okay. Why did she drug them, though? Just so they wouldn't try to fight it? It needs a little bit of a load-up time, though, doesn't it? we got to keep this thing still. It's kind of spooky, not going to lie. Time and place, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's in the back. It's my you! Did we even get a shot off there? I don't think we did. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like tentacles or something, isn't it? Nah, the swing is fucking crazy. Where's the woman gone? You saw them? Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can we at least use like the shotgun as a distraction? What's this light coming from? Oh, the moon. Okay. I thought the gun needed like a charge up time, but she's been. I think she's fired off two shots here. Why is it just walking towards him? Why would you do that? Why would you push her? What the fuck? What? I feel like it's gonna fucking kill her. Is it gonna kill her? Is it a threat to other people, though? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Fucking hell. Oh my god. I fucking knew I didn't trust that shit. Why did it only just wait until now to kill her? We're going to try and kill this without the gun? I mean, it was her own fault. <laughs> I wouldn't have trusted that thing at all. My boy Mato gonna take this shit down? Okay. Bro, if he beats this thing's ass, holy fuck. How can he see them? Jesus. Hey, what are you doing? What? Are you hacking it? What the fuck is this guy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why well, didn't know. 
You take those batteries back, she doesn't need them anymore. Raid this place. Make sure there's nothing left. Don't be dumb, take the fucking batteries. <laughs> Free during the great disaster. The story's still trying to confuse us about her age. Is she 18 or 20? I don't think she even knows. <laughs> I love like the survival aspect of this anime and just traveling around and shit. It's quite fun. There could definitely be sharks, yeah. So is this this must be the place they're going to, no? But how would they know from the outside that there's tomatoes and shit in here? I don't get it. She looks a lot like Maru. I feel like they're related. What's he doing? Sticking them to the wall? Why? They're gonna like split up half or something, or they're gonna fall off. Oh no, see, this is what I knew was going to happen. Jesus Christ! But like, he's probably fine. He, he seems to be a bit built different. Why are you Why is your nose bleeding? What? Something else is going to fall? Oh Jesus, here we go. Oh, this is tomato heaven. There's actually people here. A guy with the same face. Yeah? That's fucking weird. Do we specifically know it's a guy or... Because it's a girl. In the other place. That's not a lot to go on, like. Oh, this mold shit again. What is it? That is so... That could mean a lot of things. It's very nice of them just to let them in. A da! <laughs> ah, so there were crocodiles in there. <laughs> they seem like nice people. I always think, like, in villages like this, something bad is happening when everybody is nice, but hopefully. This place is massive, yo. How do they defend against the fucking monsters? Yo, can we trade? Barter? Get lots of nice food? Got rice as well? Let's go. It's always something feels off. Can't it just be a nice place? Oh, now? Yeah, they just see him now. Oh no, they're talking to the girl. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that like... They're like racing in another world or some shit? Not racing in another world. Racing in the apocalypse or whatever? Yeah, he's just gonna grab her leg. <laughs> oh shit. Mystery on mystery. That helps, really? Okay. Oh, they're on the ship now? I hope there's not like sea monsters or something. Getting high at night. <laughs> That's the life. Damn, that was quick. You should probably, you should probably drop the cis line soon enough then. Yeah, he's trying to kiss her. Oh my god. Dude. Time and a place. Come on. Um, what? Like, experimented on or just... You want to be a man? Okay, yeah. Okay, so another very interesting episode. The mysteries continue. Um, It would seem Maharu is... Presumably not the say not of the gender that she was kind of assigned at birth, potentially, or whether she legitimately means that um, someone basically kind of done something to alter the brain chemistry. It's probably not that deep. Um, may just be that she believes that she is a man, which is fair enough. I don't know whether I'll continue to use she. Obviously, if they change how they say to her in the show, if it's she or he, that's fine. I'll go with that. But 
at the moment it's the same, I think. Yeah, very interesting. Um, it's really, there is there is a lot to go off of here. Like there was moments there in the episode where we were kind of looking at the the kid with like the grey bob cuts kind of hair, and then his nose started bleeding. I don't know if that's because it was just a joke because he got to hug the girl he clearly likes, or maybe he has some kind of ability which stopped the guy from dying on that fall. I don't know. The guy could also just be like built strong, as we saw in the last episode. He's very athletic. Um, we also got this kind of peacock looking animal badge logo thing, which more mysteries, it's on the same thing as of her gun. So yeah, uh, there's a lot to go off here. We don't know anything yet. But yeah. Maru has also confessed to Kiriko. Um, did I say Kiriko before? I felt like I said a different name. I don't know. Um, age difference, but I don't know, whatever it's anime. Yeah, anyway, very good episode. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.